1994, Larry Dosey, MD, went out on a limb when he introduced the power of prayer to medicine. Over a hundred years ago, Napoleon Hill, in his book, The Law of Success, also talked about the necessity of the power of prayer. What's the whole big deal with prayer? Hi, I'm Allie Bierman, and I'm really glad you stopped by today. You can find me over at liveinhappinessnow.com forward slash blog. What I wanted to talk with you about today is prayer and how prayer impacts us and the planet and the whole world. See, back in 1994, Dr. Larry Dosey, MD, put out his first book about the power of words and specifically about the power of prayer. And I also discovered in the last few months that Napoleon Hill, best known for his book Think and Grow Rich, we wrote a number of books, and my favorite, actually the one most powerful for me, is his book The Law of Success, where he states 15 very specific laws that lead a person to success. And by practicing them, you have success not just in your business life, but in all areas of your life. His 15th law is about using the golden rule, and part of that law is the power of prayer, the power of gratitude, because prayer, prayer is not what most people use, a supplication of, please God, let me pass this test, or please God, heal this illness, or please God, let me get this job that I really want. That's not prayer. That's begging. That's not going to get you what you want. Prayer, real prayer, as defined by Napoleon Hill over a hundred years ago, as defined and practiced by Dr. Larry Dossi and so many other people in the medical profession and supporting people who need something to change in their life is gratitude. So a prayer is about expressing thanks. It's, oh, I'm so grateful for the outcome that's in the highest and best interest of all concerned. Or what Larry Dosi was saying with his patients before he'd go in for rounds, he would ask that the outcome be in the highest and best interest of each of his individual patients. Prayer has been experimented with, yes, scientifically, all through these years, reveals, shows that people really are connected, that a person in the U.S. and a person in Australia and a person in Europe all say in a prayer at the same time for somebody who they don't even know personally, by saying the prayer of gratitude for highest and best good for the person, something similar. It works, that people's energies actually mesh together, that a particle will change simultaneously in the United States in the same moment it does in Australia and in Europe. And where's the other place I said? In the U.S. Because we're all connected, if you want to investigate that further, it's a topic called entanglement. But what really matters is when you say the prayer of gratitude, it has a positive impact depending on how you're saying the prayer. It can cause a bacteria causing the disease to no longer cause the disease, to no longer grow, to no longer expand. And if you have some malevolent purpose in mind, you can do the opposite and cause somebody to be sick. But that wouldn't be a prayer that we're certainly caring about or teaching about or wanting you to share because bottom line is what goes around comes around. Whatever you put out, guarantee you will get it back. Now you can see it most clearly and maybe it's easier to understand in the case of identical twins where one twin will suffer some kind of physical malady and the other twin who may be hundreds or even thousands of miles away feels it in the same moment. That's because we are connected. It's because we really are one spirit. 
it's think of it this way think of the ocean and think of each wave in the ocean as an individual and they appear to be different waves different individual unique waves they'll be different sizes and they'll splash ashore differently yes but the fact is it's all one ocean they're all connected as a body of water just expressing for the moment by the pull of the gravitation from the moon that particular pattern of a wave well all people are connected also and we're expressed individually but when you learn how to turn off your left brain which does all this processing and thinking and making you see the world in a thinking manner when you turn that off and you learn how to live from your right brain that's where your spiritual aspect is that's where you know that's where you feel that's where you experience the connection and the fact that we are all one energy that we are all connected as one so when you go out and you want to say a prayer for yourself or for somebody else remember what you're putting out is for the highest and best interest for all concerned and in fact as the energy goes on and on and on everybody ultimately is affected by the prayer that you express including you so always pay attention to what you're thinking or saying or asking for thank you thank you for coming by thank you for your new understanding hopefully of what prayer actually is nobody knows why it works but for definite every study out there shows it definitely definitely works and remember Napoleon Hill wrote about this over a hundred years ago and he did that because he studied the lives of successful people now if you haven't done so already go on over to liveinhappinessnow.com forward slash blog and pick up your free gift and I appreciate you hitting the like button to share this information with somebody you know because somebody you know has something or knows someone who wants something to happen in their life and it might be health and it might be a change of job or a change of a living space whatever it is by sharing this you can make a difference for them today